Hello everyone, this is Spritzer Flame Kun, and in this episode of the Azra Dreams Let's Play, we are going to be selling our items and then heading back to the tower. First, however, Wow, okay, just wanted to check the sound because the sound seems awfully loud. But anyways, in here, this new shop with the Brock lookalikes on the side, this is the Monster Egg Cellar. Hey, can come on in. What will it be you wanting today? What will you be wanting today? I'm here to sell. What kind of a monster? Is it an egg? As I said, this is where you sell your eggs and or familiars if you want. I highly would recommend not selling familiars at this point in time. In fact, you can't sell kuni, which is how you pronounce keywine. I was pronouncing it completely incorrectly. It's kuni. I'm going to sell the wump eggs because I don't really need them. And let's just see what he has. No. I just, come on, I owe quite a lot to your father guy. He used to come and sell me a lot of high quality monsters. Come on in, what'll you be wanting today? I'm here to buy. Sorry, but there aren't too many good hunters around lately. I'm awful short of monsters. As soon as I get one, it's just grabbed up. If only there were was a skilled hunter around. Anything, okay, so you can't buy, you can't buy eggs yet, but you will be able to in the future. Anyways, let's head out of this shop, and we're going to head down to the item shop, which is right here. Ooh, sorry about that uh, music there, but right, um, this is fur. You get to buy my stuff. Like you've got any anything but junk anyway. So what have you got to sell? Okay, so as you get, um, as I said in the previous episode, you can only bring in five items total, including familiars or tamions as they're called. So every other item you need to sell, except nearly every item you need to sell. Anyways. I said that I wouldn't be selling the many herbs, but I have to because I want to bring in a bit seed in this wind gem. So I'm going to be selling every other item that I have, and that gets me a lot of gold. Fur, you got anything else you want? You want? No. Okay, now I'll be back soon. So now that we have just five items with us, as you can see. We'll be able to head back into the monster tower, and that's what we're going to do. There's a few notes I want to make, though. Let me just take a drink real quick. Um, there's something that really important that I forgot to note, and that is that if you use a medi herb or a vit seed, well. Let's take tackle them one at a time. If you use a Medi Herb on yourself or your Tamion, Kuni, for instance, when they're at full health, they'll get a permanent point of HP added onto their total. I'm not 100% sure if this is accurate, but it's what I remember. And, and when we get inside, I'm going to test it with a Vit Seed. When you feed your Tamion, a Vit Seed, when they're at max H, uh, max MP, they'll gain a point of MP permanently. So I'll test that when we get back into the tower. So for right now, we're going to head back to the tower and we're going to start going up again. Another thing to mention about the tower <coughs> is that the tower changes every single time you go into it. And... One second. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I was um, having a little bit of issue with my 
throat. Anyways, there, uh, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, there's a picture of a raindrop. That means that the tower is in rain season, which means all... I'm not sure what, exactly what the seasons mean, but I'm pretty sure that it boosts the attack power of all water-type monsters. And since we just got back in the, into the tower, you'll see that Ko is back down to level is back down to level one. Also note that the funds say zero G. That's incorrect. We have more than that. However, because of the fact that we just entered the tower, it it temporarily puts our funds back at zero, so that we know how much <coughs> we've actually picked up in the tower. And as I said before, Kuni is still level four. Now I'm going to test. I'm going to test the what I said earlier, and that is, I'm going to give a vit seed to Kuni. And yes, I was right. Maximum MP of Kuni has gone up by one. And we got a hex ray. What the heck does that do? Uh, breaks curses. Oh, that's actually really good. <clears throat> Remember how I how I talked about how that there is a oh crap. <clears throat> Remember how I said that there are um oh god what was it? um that there are cursed items in the cursed equipment that you can pick up and that when you equip them you can't unequip them. Well, the Hex Ray is used to actually um, break the curse so you can take it off. And anyways, we just got an Elf Rain which prevents familiars, uh, familiars or Tamions from getting lost. What this means is that when you use it on your Tamion, even if he's off screen, you can actually still um, put him back in the bag. Like this, I could say, um, caller. And as you can see, I can return him to the bag. You can actually do that when he's off screen if you use the elf rain. Anyways, we got another wind gem, and we got a medi herb, which I'm going to use immediately on Kuni to see if that increases his. Yep, maximum MP, uh, maximum HP of Kuni has gone up by one, so that's. That's what I recommend you do with every Medi Herb you get, as well as every other, um, as well as every Vit Seed. But you want to make sure you have at least one Vit Seed on you so that you can actually, you know, um, heal him if the need be. Anyways, we got another Flame Orb, which is actually really nice. I'm, I'm going to throw, the Crook isn't very useful, so I'm actually going to discard that immediately. And what's this? Uh, Fire Ray. Okay, what the heck does that do? And I keep going to status when I mean to go to here. What does this do? Oh, cool. So that's what... So that changes it to the Fire Season, which means that all Fire Tamions and monsters will be doing more damage, I think. I'm not 100% positive about that. But I'm pretty sure that's correct. Anyways, over here we got a sap leaf. Okay, what does that do? Grass that lowers attack power when ingested. Okay, that's an item you want to throw at your opponent and not feed to you or your um, Tamion, because that'll lower his attack power, which is not good. Ooh, we got another Vit Seed, so I could increase his um, crap. Oh, God. That is one of the most annoying traps in this game. We just st we just stepped on a rust trap. What rust traps do is, as you can see, my Bronzino is now a plus three. It was a plus four, but now it's only a plus three. The reason for that is because it got rusted. Whenever you step on a rust trap, that means that it will rust any equipment in your any equipment that you're wielding and will lower its a lower its, um, plus status down which is why you do not which is why you want to try to avoid those traps at all costs because they are very devastating 
And we're just picking up a bunch of items. Um, oh, here's a new item. A red oil. Now, this is really, um, the, the oils, I, let me just check and see if this is what I think it is. Prevents the sword from rusting just... Okay, that should be once. Um, oils... No more rusty sword. Did that make it go back to... No, it didn't. But what that'll do is it'll prevent my sword from becoming rusty. Uh, be uh getting rusted by a, the rust trap. Anyways, I'm gonna let Kuni take care of that womp. And finally, Code's now level two. <clears throat> so um, what what uh, what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to find the eggs, the um, the plate, the way up. But that hasn't really been going very well because I've explored. I think I've already explored most of this floor, and I'm just checking on. Uh, Kuni's status, um, so I can see if when I want to, uh, use a, that, sheesh, can't really talk, to use the Vit Seed on him to make his max MP go up again, but we got a true spec, what does that do? Item appraisal glasses, can tell egg types, so, what this does is you can use it on a, on a item and it'll tell you, like an orb or a piece of equipment, and it'll tell you if it's cursed, how many uses it has, if it's an orb, or what the plus or minus is if it is an equipment. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now on this flame orb. And you can see that the flame orb is actually a flame orb 4. So true specs are pretty handy in my opinion. Because they can tell you um, stuff like that, and as you notice, the floor the floor is completely different than it was the first time we went through. That's because the first time we gone through, it is fixed. The floor is fixed. Um, it is. It'll always be that when you whenever you go into the tower for the very first time in the game. However, since this is the next time, the second time, the entire floor is going to be randomly generated. Okay, so we actually just got several good items right here. That seed icon that you saw me get, you want to go for those all the time. This we're going to give to Kuni, and Kuni now gets to move. I believe he gets to move twice every I don't know what he I don't know what that I think it makes him so that he's able to move Twice, I think. That's what I. That's what I want to say, but I'm not sure. The other items we got was another Medi Herb, which I'm going to give to Kuni to get, make his max MP HP go up by one. And then there was the Tuma Seed. Do not feed this to your pets. Instead, you want to throw it at a monster because it'll make him turn into a frog. This is one of the items in the PlayStation version that is extremely rare, that is common in this game. So if you find one, consider yourself pretty lucky. Anyways, let's see what the map shows. Wow, holy crap, I've already gone through, looks like the entire floor, except the middle, and there is the elevator. But we're going to go here and pick up another Medi Herb and immediately give that to Kuni again to make his max HP go up by one again. So what's his HP up to now? He's up to 21 HP already. Which is good. Anyways, we're going to head up to the next floor. And as I mentioned, I actually press the B button instead of the A button, but you want to save every floor. Anyways, we're now on floor two, and I'm going to continue doing what you're supposed to do, and that is level up uh, Ku, Ko, so that he eventually, so that he is a appropriate level for this floor, for the floor you're on. Right now, he want, right now he's at the level that we need him to be, which is two. But as we go up the tower, we're gonna need him to be up, um, there's the elevator, we're gonna need him to be up higher levels quicker, so... 
right now we need him to be before we go up we need him to be level three and he just got to level three and Cooney grew to level five yay so Cooney's now level five and he has 105 MP and 23 HP and let's see I think I have oh yeah I have three of them so I'm gonna give two bit seeds to Cooney to make his maximum MP go up his max MP will be up to 107 now I believe yep he's up to 107 MP the more MP a monster, uh, your Tamion has, the more it'll be able to, um, the more damage it'll be able to take. And this is going to be extremely helpful in the higher up floors. Anyways, what we're doing right now is we're just, um, we're just go um, going through and grinding up because Ko needs, I kind of want him to get, up, get him up to level 4 right now. Although that, although with this um, with this small of a floor, as you can see, we've actually already explored the entire floor, believe it or not, because this um, sometimes the floors are really small, and this is one such floor we're actually going to be forced to go up because there's nothing else we can do on this floor. And yes, I'm going to save save data this time. <clears throat> Sorry about all the. Um, throat clearing as well, but I'm sort of a little nervous because I haven't been recording in a very long time. Anyways, in the next episode, we are going to continue going up the floor. So until next time, this has been Razor Flame. Kodame, all of your days shine brightly.